What's up everybody? Stray13 here from Band from the Video Store giving you a I have laryngitis but I'm still doing a review um, edition of Band from the Video Store. Today I'm going to review the uh, movie with Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, uh, Breakfast for Douchebags or as it's also known, Dinner for Schmucks. And uh, I was kind of on the fence about this movie, honestly. I don't like Paul... I mean, Paul Rudd's okay. But I love Steve Carell, and uh, I, I was just, you know, I was ready to see another Steve Carell movie with Steve Carell, you know. I mean, Steve Carell plays basically Steve Carell in every movie, which is great, because he is such a, uh, a comedy genius in the fact that he's not funny, which makes him funny. Like, it's really hard to describe Steve Carell to somebody that's never seen him, but obviously, you know... Um, Everybody has seen an episode of The Office. They know what to expect now. But uh, the, the plot of the movie is basically um, Paul, Rudd, Rudd, Paul Rudd is up for a uh, promotion. And the only way to get this promotion is to bring the biggest douchebag to this dinner. And uh, he meets Steve Carell in the middle of the street uh, who was trying to save him, uh, a dead mouse from getting ran over by a car. And you find out that Steve Carell's deal is he paints dead mice and puts them in diorama window boxes as art. You know, like um, he he did um, like a Mona Lisa, um, um, American Gothic, uh, Whistler's Mother, all with mice in it instead of the actual artwork. And it's kind it's kind of neat. I mean, like. You're kind of like, what the hell is that all about? But, you know, that's his deal. And there's a small subplot with Paul Rudd and his wife, how he's wanting, or uh, his girlfriend, how he keeps proposing and she keeps saying no. And uh, um, Steve Carell tries to help Paul Rudd with that because, like, Steve Carell just all of a sudden thinks that they're friends. And, uh, you know, this movie's kind of misleading, because you really think that the whole, like, dinner for schmuck thing, you know, you think most of it would be the dinner at that night, and we don't even get to the dinner until, like, maybe an hour into the movie. And, uh, once, once you're there, it's really kind of a short scene. It's not really, you know, too long. Um, and it's, it's, it's kind of misleading. But, um... You know, the movie, I, I, I was kind of expecting a raunchy comedy, or maybe, you know... Um, you know, maybe like a like a hangover where the pacing is just like this, and it and it really wasn't. It was kind of a slow moving comedy, and uh, the really the comedy in it is just watching and going. This is so irrelevant, and it's really. I mean, you really have to have a certain type of humor to appreciate this movie. Uh, I'm gonna give it like a 6 out of 10, just because um, the guy from uh, The Hangover was in it. Play, he played like a uh, mind-taker type character. And uh, there's this funny um, psychic battle between him and Steve Carell. And uh, there's an another scene where Steve Carell is role-playing with this uh, chick Paul Rudd had a one-night stand with. And his role-playing with her is so funny. I mean... Yo, know, she's like, I'm a naughty schoolgirl. <laughs> and he just is like, uh, you're a little old to be a schoolgirl. And he just doesn't get the whole role-playing thing, which was fucking hysterical to me. Um, that, that scene was pretty funny. Um, but the dinner, actual dinner, is kind of more uncomfortable than, than funny. But um, check it out when it's free on Netflix or something like that. I wouldn't rush out to the video store to get it. It, I mean, it's, it's a, a decent movie, but it's not, you know, it, it, unless you're just a hardcore Steve Carell fan or a hardcore Paul Rudd fan. I don't, do those even exist? Um, but I wouldn't rush out to get it. You know, that that's how I look at it. Um, this is Stray 13 from Band from the Video Store, letting you know that uh, keep watching the skies and stay soft, soft pink and oily.